Welcome back guys. Rocket Bunny GT86. Nice. And an S13 Sylvia. Damn. These are nice cars. What is up my dudes? Sorry there was no video for last week. I was kind of busy. I'm working and I'm about to work. By the way, these are so nice. Drop suits, so good. You spill the oil on them and not your actual clothes. So, pop the hood real quick, disconnect the battery. Let's see. Oh yeah, so guys, not a new car, but I, I've had this car for a while. I did one video on it. And it was when I got it. I never showed the car, I don't think. Soon, soon you guys will see it. Very soon. One thing I wanna do is put struts actually on the sides right here. You can use that to hold the hood up and it holds it up actually higher than stock. Like a good another I don't know 30 degrees more but that's pretty cool that's something I want to do just a little mod that makes a big difference you know so one thing I forgot to mention is we're actually doing the throttle position sensor as well so we're gonna get that done today too and we're gonna reset the ECU hopefully it clears out the data log all that and hopefully we'll be driving the 350 well everybody it's the next day last time I updated you, I was working on the Z, putting in valve covers and valve cover gaskets. That was a pain in the butt because you have to take the plenum off, then you have to take the lower plenum off, and then it's a bunch of wiring harness and fuel rails, and you can't mess with the fuel rails. So, there's just there was more work than I had expected. And so I didn't film all of it, it got late. It was about two o'clock in the morning when I had finished. So that was that was a much bigger job than I had hoped for. Now I gotta adjust the belts because they are squealing. And I'm gonna go to Walmart and get an OBD2 sensor because I have a engine code being thrown, so I'm gonna check that. So, I just got the pulleys adjusted. Hopefully they're good now. I tighten it to what it should be. About half an inch of play, I think, is what, what it says. But, so, that is now done. We're going to Walmart to probably, maybe I'll go to AutoZone. Um, I need to get an OBD2 reader so I can, of course, read the code that is flashing. And once we get that code figured out, I'm doing a racing clutch this Saturday. I'm putting a stage three racing clutch into the car. Um, hopefully that goes all smooth, but of course with cars, you never know. So three, two, one, Walmart. I needed to change real quick. So, whoo, look at those brand new damn Daniels. For uh, a record, these are new ones. These are what my old ones look like, and these are what I work in. New ones, old ones. Not garbage, garbage. So I gotta take that mom car because my baby is still broken. It's so sad. So very sad. I'll come back for you. So now we're going to Walmart and my father actually asked me to pick up power steering fluid and clamps for this car because let me show you real quick. Let's see if you can see this. Yep, this is actually it's leaking pretty bad, so yeah, I gotta get that fixed. It's whining, making noise, leaking, all of the symptoms. So, gotta get it 
taken care of before it gets too bad. Let's just give her a nice cold start. Mm, love that mom card. The spicy bit, the bit though. Okay, so I eat these peppers like they're apples. Does anybody else think that's weird? Everybody I work with says I'm weird for eating them like that, but I mean, I'm not gonna waste my time and cut it up. I'm just, same thing. Squaw. This is exactly why I park away. Oh, hell yes. That was pretty nice. Pretty spicy. Hey, anybody else think it's uh, kind of overrated for people to check your bags in Walmart as they are watching you check out? I mean, they stand right there and watch everybody check out. I don't know, maybe it's just me. All right, guys, so it's getting dark. Actually, it is pretty much dark already. Um, I just got off work. I left the video off there, went to work. Now I'm back and I'm gonna try and use the scanner. Yes, got the clutch in the mail today. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's try and use the scanner and see if we can't find anything. See what we got going on here. Damn. All right. Uh, let's see. That's weird because I'm not misfiring anymore. Well, so I think that's where I'm in. Uh, bleh. That's where I'm gonna end today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, try and stop shaking the camera so much. Um, and hopefully I get that cylinder misfire figured out, and hopefully the belt stops squeaking. But the battery is now dead, so I'm gonna have to recharge the battery and then go over the issues again and hopefully figure it out. So thank you guys for watching. Peace out. I'll catch you next time.